Welcome to another edition of Believe in Giants. Bob Papa, two-time Super Bowl champion Carl Banks. Giants one and two. Cowboys one and two. Cowboys have beaten the Giants 13 of their last 14. Dak Prescott has won 12 straight against the Giants. He has not lost to the Giants since 2016, his rookie season. Um, Carl, as we get into this matchup, it's a short week. Mm -hmm. You have a new thought process in Dallas as far as the defensive side of the ball is concerned, right, with Mike Zimmer, now the defensive coordinator. As you kind of dive into this game a little bit, um, I'm excited about the opportunities here for the Giants. Uh, with their ability to be balanced offensively. We know Dallas has had a hard mm -hmm. time stopping the run. And we know like other Cowboy teams, unlike other Cowboys teams from the past, their running game is not nearly as good as it was when they had Pollard and Elliott together mm -hmm. or when Ezekiel Elliott was younger and was the bell cow. Um, it, it They're struggling to find a run game. As you look at this matchup, I mean, what's some of the things that have you most zeroed in on? Well, the, the one thing that they are better at, Bob, is the passing game because the run game is not the, the, the balance that they desire. They are not afraid to just put the game in Dak, in Dak Prescott's hands. I mean, they're between he and C.D. Lamb. Uh, they have great special teams also, but they, you know, they have no problem. No run game, no problem. We're going to pass the football. And we know C.D. Lamb's going to make some plays. And Dak Prescott is, you know, the weight is not too heavy for him. So that's, you know, the scary part is you don't have a run game, but yet you can still move the ball up and down the football field. Um, this game for the Dallas Cowboys, without a doubt, is that they feel that this is going to be their get right game. You know, history says that this will be the get-right game. This is the game that no matter what Giants fans think and how enthusiastic they are about their team, Dallas becomes the heartbreaker. Um, will this 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 game be different? Um, can they make it difficult for the Dallas Cowboys? to play the game on their own terms, right? Dallas Cowboys like to play from ahead. Can you change the terms of this game? And it has to start early because the last time they played in the Meadowlands, it got bad early and it never got better. Um, whatever is ailing the Dallas Cowboys, they feel that and they don't have any reason to feel that it's not going to be the case, that they can get healthy. They can get well against the New York Giants. Now, uh, they will probably respect the Giants until they don't. And it's up to this giant football team to get that respect and keep it throughout the game. But, you know, as the, the this past game for them, has proven they're never out of it. You know, they they will fight and get back in the game. So if you have a game three quarters like you had against Cleveland and think that they don't have enough time to come back, the Dallas Cowboys can. They can make plays. So uh, you have very little margin for error to begin with. They're a super talented team, the most talented team that you've played so far on the schedule. Um, so everything has to be good. Like, and this is not even a major concern, but it's something that has to happen right away. <clears throat> Deontay Banks, he has been in phase with every receiver that he's played on vertical routes. He has to he has to get his hands on footballs. He's never, I mean, he got beat in the red zone against Cleveland, um, gave some cushion and gave the um the uh, receiver a two-way go. But when he's in phase with receivers, even the, the first touchdown that Cleveland had, he's right there. The ball hits Amari Cooper in the face, and Banks just couldn't get 
his hands on the ball, he has to now incorporate that. And I think, again, that's not as worrisome as it would be if he's getting beat a lot, you know, and he's just, they're just running by him there. That's not happening. So I say that to say CD lamb will make contested plays all day long. And so when you're in phase with CD lamb, you better be attacking his hands and you better get your, your, your head around and locate the football because there could also be interception opportunities um, because Dak throws it up to him and CD will make a play. But if you're in phase with him, and I think <clears throat> with Deontay Banks' skill and ability, he can make those plays. He can, he can, get himself an interception because the confidence is so high between Dak and CD lamb that if it's even, or if it's covered, CD lamb still coming down with the football, right? So a guy with, like I said, with the guy with the skill and ability of Deontay banks, if he's in phase, he's just got to now, you know, either get the ball down or make the interception. Yeah, I mean, I think um, it's it's kind of cool, right? I mean, CD Lamb has really grown into a complete receiver, right? Yeah. I mean, um, they can put him in the slot, they can run, put him on the outside. Um, they really could do a lot of things, and then he can make you look silly because he has really gone from being a guy that was really fast and ran simpler routes like goes and slants and and deep in cuts and overs to as you pointed out on our tv show when we were taping at the coach dable show he's doing subtle things now to shake mm -hmm. free based on coverage yeah and his his the one area that impresses me most and that's even from last year to this year his short area quickness is 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 something special Right now, we knew that he could line up in the slot and run an over route, um, and they put him in the slot, you know, so he doesn't get jammed. But his release, both as an outside receiver and as a slot receiver, has uh, appreciably gotten better. It's almost, I would say it's elite. Um, but his short area route running right now, look, he's not, he's not Chad Johnson. But boy, he'll 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 put some stuff on you to make you think you're guarding Chad Johnson. He's he has really improved in every area. He's just not one dimensional and he's not limited. But the, the whole route tree is open to him now. If you're coming to the game on Thursday, you know what the Giants are gonna have at the game on Thursday, which is um kind of cool. They are going to have those like lights, those, uh, on Pixie each lights seat. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And they're going to be able to like the pregame introductions and all that other stuff. Pretty cool. Um, so I, I think if you're going to the game, it's kind of like a fun thing to get y'all fired up when the game starts for the introductions. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, it's all part of this 100 seasons and kind of doing all these cool initiatives. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. We'll have a good view of it in our booth for sure. Yeah, the the stadium will be lit up when the lights are off uh, during introductions. That'll be fun. Um, but you want the lights to be on for a Giants performance. You want them to be locked in. Um, again, they're going against another unicorn uh, as an offensive line. Uh, Lawrence and Parsons, or should I say Parsons and Lawrence, are game wreckers. Um, much like what they had with Dan Quinn, it's not as, um, I don't want to say frequent, but it's 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 not as aggressive in, in some ways, but they still do a lot of twists. They do a lot of different games. Your offensive line has to stay connected because – they do some delayed stunts as well with Micah Parsons. When you look at him and you think he's not rushing 
And all of a sudden you got three linemen that are going one direction and he just slips back in the other direction and walks through a wide open uh, gap and sacks your quarterback. And, you know, that's just some of the games. And then you have between him and Lawrence, they can beat you one-on-one as well. So you just got to be smart if you're a Giants offensive lineman and just make sure that you're connected because once they get you staggered is when all of those, those games and twist happen. And listen, you know, most smart coordinators in this league, they're not married to their system. If there's something that worked against an opponent, most of these guys are smart enough to incorporate it into what they do. Yeah, and protect the football is going to be – Daniel Jones got to be smart with it like he was last week against Cleveland, not putting it in harm's way when he's facing some of that pressure. Mm-hmm. Um. Bet Online is the world's most trusted betting platform, your number one source for everything football. Bet Online is every stat, matchup, live odds, spreads to bet on during the games. Think you know your stuff? Get in on the $200,000 mega contest. Pick five games against the spread every week. Your chance to win at weekly prizes, a share of 200 k Game's over. Head to the online casino, blackjack, poker, 150 different slot games. Head to the website today to get in on the action. Bet Online, the game starts here. Jones in his career has thrown five interceptions against the Cowboys. Uh, he's one in six as a starting quarterback against the Cowboys. There's a lot of numbers from a giant standpoint that are ugly. And there's mm-hmm. a lot of really glowing numbers from the Cowboys when playing the giants. That's what happens when you beat a team 13 out of the last 14 times. However, Carl, as you always like to point out, You know, that stuff is just history. The Mm -hmm. 2024 Giants are not the 2023 Giants, nor are they the 2022 Giants, right? The the roster's Mm -hmm. changed over. So they have an opportunity to kind of rewrite a script here. And um, I expect them to come out in this football game and play well. Now, the one dynamic I am curious about is fan reaction. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like with the start that the Giants got off to on Sunday with the fumble and the touchdown right away and then not and then having like a three and out like I'm I'm kind of like sitting there and I'm saying to myself um how are the Giants fans going to handle some adversity that comes in the game cuz the team proved to me last week that they can handle the adversity mm-hmm. are fans going to be able to handle some adversity that comes along with it Well, listen, uh, I think if the Giants compete at the level that they competed against Cleveland, I think the fans will be full-throated throughout the game. Um, And that that was proven true with those Giant fans that traveled to Cleveland. They had a whole section behind the Giants bench that just kept the energy going for this team. Um, So I think, you know, if this team competes, um, this fan base will be full throated for the entire game. Um, there's in 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 listen forewarning. They're playing a really good team. That team's gonna make some plays. But if your team is fighting tooth and nail and they're competing, they're gonna have their opportunities for plays as well. Listen, um, it's neighbors, but it's also three other receivers, and you saw what Wondell Robinson can do when they give too much attention to neighbors. You saw what Darius Slayton can do. You even saw the incorporation of a tight end. Oh, and by the way, they got the backs involved too in the passing game. So there are a lot of things that the Dallas Cowboys will have to prepare for as well. And, you know, listen, everything starts with their front four. The things they do up front, are what makes them so good on the back end. And that's no disrespect to their um, their cornerbacks or their safeties. Um, but listen, when you've got a great defensive front, your job is a lot easier and you can see you can see routes better. You can you, you know you can see the football because your quarterback is always under duress. So um, the Giants will have to try to neutralize the front four so that they can get, some of their other weapons involved. All right, you got anything else, Carl? That's all I got. How do we like to end it? 
Tell a friend to tell a friend. Believe, Believe in, giants. in Giants. 